Hello and welcome to study in Slovakia. Today's video is going to be about buying and renting properties in Slovakia. So today we have with us Mr. Roman who is an experienced advocate here in Slovakia. He will take us through different steps and the contracts, how it works uh, when buying a property or renting a property in Slovakia. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, my name is Roman Franco. I'm a private lawyer here in Košice and uh, I work as an advocate. I have my own office and I graduated school uh, at, uh, in 2012. So from that time I'm working as a lawyer and yeah, I uh, have experiences uh, also with uh, foreign students and with rent contracts. So yeah, I, I'm experienced in this topic too. So uh, today's video is going to be up, uh, in two parts. The first part is going to be about the rental part and the second part is going, uh, going to be about the purchasing uh, any property in Slovakia as an investment or something. So uh, let's start, get on the rental side. So firstly, uh, like our viewers wanted to know that uh, what are the requirements or uh, mandatory things that uh, like the steps, I mean, uh, when we choose a property uh, and we want to rent it, like we want to, uh, let's say, get it on rent. What are the steps that we need to take? What are the requirements for it? Uh, these type of things. Yeah. Uh, if you want to uh, sign some contract, you need to know that there is like uh, two main types of contract here. One is like for short term. It's uh, max two years and you can prolong it twice uh, with a period of two years. With this contract, uh, you can have a more strict uh, regulation, like uh, uh, you know, termination of contract can be like uh, much shorter, even to 15 days. And with this second contract, it's uh, three months. Uh, so this is like first thing which you need to know. And uh, then I can show you like uh, how this contract should uh, look like. And uh, important thing is to uh, check if a uh, guy who is uh, renting you uh, contract if if, if it's uh, really him and if this flood is uh, his so this is like on so, the so this is a thing we need to be very careful about what are the other things that we need to be careful about when we are let's say looking for a property or making our contract how do we check it because we don't speak slovak or we don't maybe uh, understand slovak so what are the things as a foreigner that we need to be careful when we are taking the contract Okay, I, I will show, will show you an uh, example of a contract and uh, I will explain you uh, some things uh, which I see uh, in uh, some example uh, of contract. So, uh, this is how contract uh, looks like. This is this uh, short-term rental con contract, this agreement, and there needs to be written that it is short-term. It is uh, uh, Act uh, number 98, uh, 2014, uh, so it is need to be uh, written there. There is renter who, who is uh, like uh, renting you this house and there is uh, uh, like uh, written who is uh, uh renting so it's uh you or some another person so there you have like uh, uh definition of this contract and you can check on the website uh, if this uh, flat is of this guy and you can check it on uh i can show you you can see my uh safari yes yes okay there is kataster portal of ksk okay you can check english version and then you can check, like you give apartment and you can check uh, who is owner and so on. So with this, you can uh, uh, know uh, some further information. Uh, you need to have written what this, uh, this uh, apartment about, how many rooms it is, uh, what is in this uh, house. This is uh, important to write it because if uh, they write you that there is more thing that in reality is, so it will be not worth. Because on the end of contract, maybe they will ask you like, oh, I have some TV and there is no TV, so pay me. So that's why like you need to check this contract. Okay, so what is important? Uh, uh, in most common contract, uh, you cannot like hire to another per person. It is it need to be allowed in this contract. So uh, if you are in this uh, uh, flat, only you can be in this flat. And in contract, you need to be like careful what is condition. If you if it uh, allow uh, to have some animals or if it's allowed to not smoke in the contract, it should be written in the contract. 
So, and uh, I think like most important uh, thing is to check uh, payments of this contract because uh, okay. you can have it uh, two basic ways. And one is that uh, you are paying uh, for uh, rent and for electricity and water and gas and for everything uh, in one payment and you will not pay extra if you spend more and there is another way when you pay only like deposit to uh, these payments of electricity heating and so on and then one in a year there is uh, some counting of this and if you spend more you need to pay more and if you spend less they uh, should uh, like give you money back but in reality owners are not they doing don't. <laughs> so. Yes, yes. so basically basically there is a limit set i have to use within the limit if i cross the limit i have to pay more yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, when you enter this flight, the important thing is to to write to some document uh, uh, what is uh, like um, uh, entrance level of electricity, uh, water, and so on. Because with these numbers, you you should have it. And if you are leaving the flight only once in a year, uh, from this number, you can check how much you spend and so on. Okay, okay. And uh, Mr. Roman, I also wanted to know, like, what are the uh, basically restrictions uh, that are there in Slovak uh, rental properties. Like if we can take a pet with us or if we can smoke inside the flat or these type of what are the restrictions and if it is mentioned in the contract or not. Yeah, uh, this restriction, uh, it is not like written in uh, uh, some law or some act. Uh, what is the restriction? Like only the general restriction is that you cannot damage another flight. This is like normal rule. So mm -hmm. if you smoke or not, uh, if it's not written in contract, I think you can smoke because if you are smoking inside, you will not damage this flight. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, if it's written that you cannot smoke inside, then you cannot smoke inside. With pets, I think it's very similar. So if it's written that you cannot have it, then can, you cannot have it. If there is uh, written nothing, I uh, think there's no problem to have it. Okay, if you want to have some tiger in flood, it will maybe some different story, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, in most contracts, uh, you have definition of what, what is small reapers, uh, which means like, uh, which reapers under 100 euro, you, you are obliged to like repair these things, which is like higher. You need to uh, tell your landlord that, okay, this is broken, so check it and fix it. And uh, it's like that. Uh, important thing is to all the problems which you have in flight, just send it by email or some in written form. So you will have some evidence that you like uh, uh, what was broken and so on. And uh, uh, if you are leaving the flat, like, okay, with, uh, if your uh, walls are uh, like uh, it's yeah, some dirt, dirty or something like that, it yeah. depends because so like, okay, uh, if you were like uh, throwing some sal salsa, the tomato salsa on the walls okay of course you need to paint it but like if, if you are normally living there and there is some like uh, little damage i think it is not like correct to ask you money for but i know that there is many cases i that like landlords ask for many like uh, for cleaning or i don't know so uh, these cases can be like uh, specific in specific situation, but most of these cases are not very correct to ask uh, from rents. But I know that when you are foreigner, they uh, want to take advantage on you. When uh, the contract finishes, uh, like uh, as you told previously, how does the uh, like uh, legal terms work or agreements work? Like, uh, do we get back the money? Do we need to issue another agreement? Like you know, it has been finished or how does it work after, let's say, the term finishes, basically? Yeah, uh, there is like two. Uh, and also this factor that how do we finish? Let's say I want to leave the next three months or four months. The yes. home. So do I need to give some notice period to my, um, my landlord that of three months or two months that I'm going to vacant the flat or it just works naturally? Yeah. Uh, you cannot like uh, leave flat from one day to one day. It's uh, not allowed. So uh, in that case, you need to like consider that, okay, if I want to finish this contract, I uh, need to uh, have some time uh, to finish it. Like notice period is, uh, can be like uh, 
normal in normal contract is not this short term it's like three months and it starts accounting with first day of next month of uh, delivery of notice and with short term it can be like pretty much shorter like it can be even uh, 15 days or 30 days so it depends so it depends on which contract do you have but it's very important thing that in the short term contract uh, this landlord need to be registered on tax uh, office that uh, he has this short term contract and in, in this only in this case it is valid so if he uh, if he wants to like terminate your contract you can check it uh, like ask to, to, uh, tax office if they give you this information if he registered and if not termination is 3 months so yeah, you need to count that there is some uh, termination period and then you need to do it written. You cannot do it from day to day. This you need to count. And there is maybe some important thing. If you stay in this flat and in 30 days, uh, this landlord will not uh, like uh, ask court to uh, that you need to go out of this flat. Uh, and there is prolongation of contract for one year with same condition. Most contracts uh, looks like this. So, uh, and uh, I think uh, lost, uh, most, most of uh, landlords like give you this contract. So it is in uh, Slovak and it is in English too. Uh, but there is also sometimes there is like a uh, sentence that uh, only uh like this this contract is made in english and slovak language in the case of the difference the slovak uh, wording hold the preference this uh, i put this because <laughs> yeah this <laughs> english version version is more informational but uh it, it must be like pretty like accurate this english version so it's better than nothing okay okay we understand and uh and uh about the uh like uh advance that we pay uh, about the uh, getting back that money. So how does it work? Like, uh, if the flat is absolutely in good condition, we yeah. get back the money within some limited period of time. Is it mentioned in the contract and how much time? Yeah, back our, uh, uh, it, is, it is written and uh, like uh, most common cases in uh, is 10 days after ending of contract. Uh, I can check my contract uh, and it is written even in uh, 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 law and uh, you know how in which day they need to like pay you back. It's uh, in a short term contract, they need to give you back deposit in uh, 30 days after a term. 30 days, yeah, okay, okay. but That's in your right. contract, you can have a shorter period. I uh, this week I was like uh, checking one contract and there was like 10 days. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. But uh, so, if they if they don't pay you, you need to go to court, and if you go to court, it will be for months, even for years, to get it back. <laughs> and uh, with so, with some uh, amount of money, it is not worth because like uh, maybe you find, but may, I think you will not find some lawyer who who will want to like uh, solve case for like. Um, 200 euros or something like that it, it is not worth it uh it is uh, written uh, with short term uh, uh, contract it is written that it should be uh which i know max free of months so they not cannot ask you more so mr roman uh take us through the steps let's say i chose a property and i personally like the property take us through the legal steps that i need to take further in order to buy it yeah like most common cases is that you find some property which is uh, selling by some reality agency so this uh, reality agency they will give you some uh, reservation contract uh, that uh, you will sign that uh, you will buy this property in some period of time maybe two or maybe three times and then like uh, these reality agencies uh, uh I have uh, own lawyers which like me which prepare a contract for buying this property and uh, uh so these uh, contracts are uh, uh written by lawyers and uh it should be like okay these contracts but if you want a contract which is more uh, like uh, specialized for you and it, which is more advanced to you you need to like find some lawyer who will like put some condition which is better for you to protect your money and so on 
And uh, okay. uh, it depends, uh, like, uh, there's another legal steps can be if you are taking mortgage or not, but uh, in reality, I don't know if you are foreigner here that if you get some mortgage from Slovak, then this, I don't know, this is... Uh, uh, actually, uh, actually, we do get, uh, we do get loan for uh, housing, like, it is possible. Uh, but that okay. was the uh, next question that uh, with this, if I'm planning to take a loan in order to uh, buy a home, uh, mm -hmm. do the paperwork stay the same uh, with the reality or how does the paperwork or these contracts and these things change if I plan to take a mortgage or a loan? Oh, it's very standard thing. So it doesn't like change this process. Only like for the step is to communicate with bank and uh, owner of this uh, house or apartment or flat or whatever uh, needs to sign uh, sign uh, like uh, that this uh, uh, flat will be deposit like for this mortgage. Like it will be like mortgage. So that's uh, only, mm -hmm. only uh, one further step. And uh, you can uh, obtain in most common cases like 80% uh, of uh, value of this property. So uh, you need to have like 20% uh, cash. So other than that, uh, can you tell, give us some glimpse about what are the benefits that I will get if uh, I buy as a foreigner uh, property here in Slovakia? Like, I don't know, gas, insurance, taxation, or some sort of benefits as a foreigner if you buy a property here in Slovakia that we can get uh, so it interests, let's say, foreigners to buy here properties. Uh, I don't know about some uh, special like uh, things which you get. Maybe if you will like have a, a permit, if you have like domicile here, you can uh, run in a local election and to European Parliament. So there's a benefit which you have. <laughs> but I don't know if a lot of people are interested in it. Yeah, but other than that, uh, do these uh, things like the gas or water and these things are included when we are buying, uh, let's say, the property from some real estate company, uh, like these things for a few years are included or is it like separately we have to go to each of these offices, ask for the connection and then get the connection for water or... Uh, uh, if you are buying a flat here, uh, you buy flat and uh, like most common cases, there is this electricity, gas, heating and so on. So it... Uh, it will just uh, change the owner of this flat and you will pay it, uh, pay it directly. And I need to tell it that like uh, owning uh, uh, property in Slovakia, it's, uh, I think it's more cheaper than uh, to rent it because uh, imagine that if you rent some flat in uh, city center of Košice, you will pay 500, 600 euro, maybe more. It yeah, depends on how for much. sure, yeah, more. Yeah, and uh, if you like buy some property with uh, mortgage and with electricity and so on, it can be maybe even 400 max. Is you mean per month of installments? Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think like for month uh, you will pay like because now like flat uh, two rooms flat in center can cost like 130 or I don't know so. It can be like you will be paying maybe 400 so it will be like cheaper than the rent okay 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 so that's a great plan actually like yeah. buying a property but yeah, and, uh, like yeah. uh, it will not change uh, it was always like uh, here that uh, in big cities like prices of uh, flood are going higher and higher and higher but you need to consider the one thing that you need to own this uh, flood for five years and after that you can uh, uh, sell it without taxes because when you sell it before it, you will pay uh, very high taxes. So and you don't want to pay it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And can you give us some idea about how much are these taxes or which type of taxes are these? Like if I sell property before five years? Yeah, it is like uh, nine person is income, and there is like another. I think uh, uh, like very similar uh, eighteen or nineteen uh, person of uh, like. Uh, health and uh, social insurance so but i'm not tax advisor so this is like general information that i have okay, there is some okay. tricks uh, there is some tricks which people are doing to avoid it so but i will not tell you here <laughs> uh moving on uh mr roman uh give us some idea like what are the biggest mistakes that foreigners make when they're renting or even buying properties and what are the loopholes or the problems that we can get in and we need to be careful about it. Yeah, I think uh, the best way, if you have some problem, like uh, try to contact some uh, lawyer as me. Uh, you can uh, 
I can share you, I can uh, show you one uh, one page where is like you can find law lawyers and they can help you with these uh, questions. It is like this is Slovak uh, chamber of uh, advocates of lawyers. Ah, need to check it. Yeah, and there is uh, you. Uh, you have this list of uh, advocates, and there you can find like uh, we will put Košice, and uh, we will. Uh, there is like he speaks English. So and there you have like. Uh, or lawyers who can speak English and who are, uh, which are in Košice. So uh, they can uh, really help you. Uh, there is things uh, which you need to be like aware is uh, mm, if there is no some special condition which is not uh, uh, in your advance, but it's hard to say because uh, uh, I found in many cases that uh, uh landlords uh, try to put conditions which is which are not really legal like i saw that uh, two months two months uh, termination uh, uh period i saw that they will you need to pay some uh, penalty for uh, uh like giving termination before some uh, a period so yeah it is like in uh, specific cases there is like things which you need to be aware but uh, you if you are not professional you you will not do you will not recognize them yeah that's why we need help of a professional lawyer yeah yeah for sure uh, and uh, mr roman give us some uh, idea about uh, like uh, how much are the charges generally of lawyers here like mm -hmm. uh, with contracts paperwork or things like this yeah, uh, it is like uh, depends on uh, your uh, agreement with this lawyer, but uh, yeah. it can be like uh, writing or checking contract uh, in Korsice, it can be like uh, they can ask you for 100 euro to 200, it depends like which contract. So if they uh, like uh, ask you pay more, don't accept it. So. Uh, for consultation, it depends. Like, but uh, so, uh, I think this is this prices. So. But uh, it really like varies from lawyer to lawyer. So, okay, okay, that's that's actually very informative. Uh, thank you, Mr. Roman, for all this information you have given us uh, about uh, buying properties, renting properties. Maybe, over here. maybe one thing so, which will really help you, like if some lawyer want to ask you some money, he needs to tell you before that you will be paying for it and how much. So if they ask you after that, okay, I, I, I did this and I want uh, such an amount, you can tell him bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so it's illegal, it means telling the price later. Yeah, then you need to ask, uh, then you need to tell you before that uh, you will be paying for it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That was that was really helpful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Roman. And uh, thank you for all uh, this information and uh, hope our viewers, uh, viewers enjoyed it and found some useful information in the video. And uh, all the websites that Mr. Roman mentioned are here in the description. And also the contact of Mr. Roman and study in Slovakia are in the description. So if you have any uh, any, any queries, uh, anything you want to ask uh, or want to contact Mr. Roman, you can go and email him or email us uh, at study in Slovakia. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Roman, for uh, your time, precious time. Uh, thanks a lot. And thank you all for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it among your network. And also let us know in the comment section what are the questions you have about buying and renting properties. Mr. Roman will personally answer you in the comment section. And any queries you have regarding studying in Slovakia or you require guidance about studying abroad in general, you can contact us at www.studyinslovakia.sk. And thank you again for watching. Until next time, Dovidenia.